Okay, so first I started out with my sky. I painted the background of the sky, then I started to paint the clouds. I used a darker shade for the shadows in the clouds, and then I went back in with some white to highlight the part of the clouds where the light is hitting. I put a few layers on these clouds going back in with the shadows and the highlights over and over until I liked the way that they looked. Next I moved on to my mountains. The mountains very far away from us, way in the background, are almost the same color as the sky. They just have a little bit of a darker shade to them. Uh, and as those mountains move closer to us, they become more green. So that's what I did, painting the mountains. Uh, they also become more sharp and crisp. The mountains that I painted in the background are fuzzy and there's some uh, fog rising up in the mountains. I added some white before to the uh, mountains before I added the next round of mountains. And in the foreground we keep everything nice and crisp, making definite lines, not blurring anything out. After I got my mountains painted, I started working on the foreground. There's a grassy plain in the foreground with some bushes, so that's what I started painting here. I painted the lighter portion of the field first, then went back in with a shadow tone to identify where the bushes are. I kept moving closer and closer to the foreground. And finally, in the way front foreground of my painting, I have tall grass that we can see each individual grass blade at this point from our view. And that's what I'm working on here. I used medium brush to make this whole painting, so I uh, didn't want to get too detailed. I wanted to try to just capture the grass moving in the wind without spending too much time on those blades. My finishing touches for this painting included adding some daisies to the foreground and touching up the shadows in the mountains in the background. And that's it for this painting. This was a quick little video, but I hope you got some tips on landscape painting that you can apply the next time that you grab your paintbrush. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.